What is up guys, Ghost Vegito here. Welcome back to Madden 22. It's been a while since we've played Madden. Uh, we were riding off the Super Bowl win, but I think we've celebrated it long enough. Um, now, first things first, we'll go over the changes of the team. A totally different team than it was when we won the Super Bowl. Um, pretty much a brand new offense in general. We got Joe Burrow at quarterback, Thurman Thomas at running back. We got Cooper Cup, the Super Bowl MVP. DK Metcalf and Debo Samuel as our receiving core. Zach Ertz, Dawson Knox as our tight end. And a brand new offensive line with three Team of the Year cards in Whitworth, Marpet, and Brown. A really good Ultimate Legend Center, Mike Pouncey, and a really good guard in Quentin Spain for, you know, right side. Defense, some changes there, not a whole lot, but we do have a new secondary. We got Patrick Serdan. Sertan upgraded. Trayvon Diggs is back and so is Patrick Peterson. Although I think Patrick Peterson just got an upgrade. So we have DJ Reader, Anthony McFarlane, Booger McFarlane at D-Tackle, Hasten Reddick, our new edge rusher. And yeah, other than that, um, no changes on defense, but Changes on special teams, we have new kicker Evan McPherson, who I think is the new Adam Vinatieri of the NFL. That might be a long shot, but, you know, that's just what I think. Now, first things first, guys, um, I'm recording this commentary only a few hours before the draft. In all likelihood, this video will be uploaded after the first round. At least I'm going to try to get it uploaded after the first round. So by the time you watch this video, um, the first round of the draft, at least, will already be over. But I'm going to give my predictions anyway. As you guys know, I'm a Giants fan, and we have some really good picks coming up in the first round of the draft. We hold both the fifth and the seventh pick in this year's draft. So two very good first round picks, um, and very high in the draft. Two top tens. So I'm going to go over the scenario I would like and the scenario I could see happening. So, um, obviously, if you're a Giants fan or you, if you're a football fan in general, you know the Giants struggle on offensive line and they struggle on the edge when it comes to their defense. So I'm thinking maybe an offensive tackle. I would prefer Evan Neal out of the three, but I am okay with either Charles Cross or Ekim uh, Owung. I, I can't pronounce his name. So, but Icky, I, they call him Icky. So, um, that guy, Charles Cross and Evan Neal, I would love one of those three. I think the, those three are good enough tackles. And then, you know, I can see either Sauce Gardner. I would love Sauce Gardner on the Giants. I really would. Or Kayvon Thibodeau. I think that's how you say it. Kayvon Thibodeau, edge rusher for... Oregon to be on the Giants. Now, um, in all likelihood, probably Trayvon Walker and Aiden Hutchinson will go in the first two. So that would leave Kayvon as, you know, the, um, the last top prospect when it comes to edge rushers in the top five. So I would love to see Kayvon come at five. The question is, it all comes down to who the Jets and the Texans are going to pick at 3 and 4. Now, if they pick Kayvon before the Giants do at 5th, I would love to have Sauce Gardner. But in honesty, I cannot see Sauce Gardner falling below 4. I think either he's going to the Texans or the Jets. It's hard to pass up a cornerback like Sauce Gardner. Um, dude has not given up a touchdown his entire football career going into the NFL. True statement there. So yeah, I don't see Sauce Gardner falling to five. I just don't. If he does, I would be ecstatic to have him at number five. But um, the only way I can see that is, you know, if Kayvon goes below or Kayvon gets drafted before five. I'm sorry there. So yeah, the scenario I think may happen is maybe they take Kayvon at 5 if he falls down to 5. 
and then maybe they take a tackle. Maybe Icky or maybe Evan Neal, depending on whichever one's left. And yeah, that would be good enough for me. That would be spectacular. In my, in my opinion, that's the best case scenario if we can come away with a good edge rusher in Kayvon Thibodeau and a good tackle. Maybe Icky, maybe Evan Neal, or maybe Charles Cross if they're interested. I wouldn't care either way. Me personally, I think I would prefer Evan Neal out of the three. But honestly, in my case, I'm okay with either one, you know. Chances are Giants are interested in at least two of those guys. Maybe all three of them. So I'm okay with either one. Um, we're in need of a tackle, especially at right tackle. So uh, maybe Evan Neal and Icky are the guys they're looking at most. But I can see them drafting Charles Cross as well. But yeah, in all likelihood... Um, Trayvon Walker goes to the Jags. Aiden Hutchinson goes to the Lions. Uh, Texans, maybe they get Sauce Gardner, or maybe they take an offensive tackle. You know, one of the offensive tackles. Um, and then the Jets, anything can happen. Maybe they take a Kayvon Thibodeau, and then maybe we have to draft Sauce Gardner in the fifth, or maybe they take Sauce Gardner um the jets do and then we take Kayvon thibodeau at number five and then between icky and evan neal whichever one the panthers at number six don't get if they draft a tackle um we take whoever the panthers don't get as jabril peppers gets his second interception of the game but yeah um with two first round picks as a Giants fan, I'm really excited to see where they go. As you guys know, we have a brand new GM and Joe Shine. We have a brand new coaching staff, a new head coach, new coordinators, quite a few new um, coaches in general. You know, new offensive line coach, new assistant coaches, pretty much a brand new coaching staff in general as that guy Rage quit. So pretty good debut for all these uh players Thurman Thomas in general he had a really good game there but yeah guys um again in all likelihood this uh, video is probably going to get uploaded after the first round is over at least I'm going to try to get it uploaded after the first round and before the second round but yeah if that's the case guys be sure to comment um who your favorite team is and if you're satisfied uh about the um the results you got so yeah i mean again with the seventh and the fifth pick in the draft i think we're in very good positions now maybe the worst case scenario for us giants fans is maybe if sauce gardner and cave on thibodeau go at three and four maybe you take a uh, tackle at fifth and then maybe you just trade down the seventh that's a possibility as well I can see happening as Thurman Thomas cuts up the middle. Nice run there for the touchdown. Thurman Thomas has just been absolutely phenomenal these first couple of games already. He's got quite a few big runs and a couple of touchdowns. So yeah, some pretty good games here. We're also dressed in the Rams uniforms. I forgot to mention that. We are coming off a Super Bowl win, so I thought... Since we are champions, we should dress like champions. But yeah, guys, as far as the draft is concerned, as a Giants fan, I'm really hyped up for this draft, you know, not just for the players we might get, but also what the future may hold for our new GM and Joe Shine. Maybe he goes the way we all want him to go, or maybe he goes a different way. I know. Maybe he knows some things we don't know. I don't know, guys. Anything can happen in the draft. We can be completely surprised, or maybe things go the way we want them to go, which that's the case I'm hoping for here. Again, we have not just one, but two first-round draft picks, and both of them are in the top 10, so definitely don't want to mess those up. But again, um... If we keep the, if we don't trade away any of those picks we have, I can see either Kayvon Thibodeau or Sauce Gardner going at number five if one of those guys is available. And then whatever tackle, maybe it's Icky, maybe it's Charles Cross, or maybe it's Evan Neal goes at number seven. 
I mean, I'd be completely surprised if um, all three of those guys are available at number seven. You know, Evan Neal in particular, I don't see him... I don't really see him falling down at number seven, but it's possible. I mean, there are other needs the uh, teams before the Giants have to fill. So maybe the Texans, maybe they grab a tackle, and then maybe the Panthers, they grab another tackle, and then maybe the Giants are just stuck with the third. I don't know, guys. I'm just guessing. So, but yeah, I'm hoping that the best case scenario is we just take Kayvon Thibodeau if he falls to fifth or if it's sauce gardner at fifth we take him but um you know i would rather have the edge rusher than the cornerback although i think sauce gardner is a phenomenal cornerback again he has never given up a touchdown to this point in his career so he would be phenomenal but like i said i don't see him uh, not getting drafted by the jets if he falls to the jets maybe he goes to the texans or i don't know Maybe the Texans draft a tackle and maybe the Jets, or I'm sorry, maybe the Texans draft a tackle and then maybe the Jets, maybe they can go with Sauce Garner. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen, but I don't know, guys. Anything can happen in the draft. I'm just playing out the different scenarios, but yeah, I'm just hoping the draft in general goes well for the Giants. We've got, you know, a new GM. We've got a lot of new coaches and they seem like they will put the Giants in the right direction. But anyway, I think I've rambled on enough about the draft. Let's get on with the game, as this is Michael Vick, who finds an open Randy Moss up the middle, but he's kill shunned by Micah Parsons. We have a really good defense as we send the heat, and that one is contested, almost picked off there. Defense has been playing really good as we put on man coverage and Micah Parsons that's what he does he can cover running backs like that Walter had no chance there as this is Randy Moss or at least he was looking for Randy Moss but it's intercepted by Trayvon Diggs who's had a great run around for these two games and that is going to force another rage quit and that will end the video guys so I hope you enjoyed that again let me know how the draft went for you guys and um, when it comes to the next Madden video I upload, I'll go over my thoughts about the first round and the second and third round. In all likelihood, um, the next video I post, Madden video, will be after the first, second, and third round. So I will go over my thoughts on the draft on those three rounds in the next video. But anyway, I gotta answer a phone too, guys. I will see you later.